Yeah, great. Okay. Yeah, so um, I need to see you guys. So. Hopefully that all sounds all right. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got, so I've, yeah, so I've just got, um, this is actually my, my recording setup, like one of many recording setups. So I just worked out a way of actually streaming it into my software and then put it into OBS, which then goes into Zoom. So you've basically got all the separate mics plus overheads. Um, and it just allows me to, has, during lockdown, it enabled me to kind of like, do some lecturing still um, via Zoom. Um, you know, I've also got it. You know, so if I've got a run a, run a click here, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, so sounds it's, great. Yeah. The sound is really good. Yeah, really good. good. Despite the playing, the sound is really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So it, it, it's all cool. I mean, it's it's. It's going into you know horrendous thousands of pounds worth of mic preamps to then go into into Zoom on stereo. But hey, it's good. It's all good. You yeah, know, I mean, it's that the drums sound really good coming out this end. So good. Yes. So are, are you are you all are all your drums are mic'd up? You've got uh, mics on the toms, overheads. Can you describe your your microphone setup a little bit? Yeah. So so the kick drum kick drum uh, at the minute the flavor of this this next few months is a beta 52 inside the kick audix d6 on the outside on the porthole and a, and a sub kick my own made homemade sub kick because i don't believe in the yamaha ones so don't even get started um so my own okay. sub kick and uh, then we've got uh, just a good old 57 on the top of the snare and yeah. i've been using a, a road nt5 not all right I don't, I don't like under snare mics a uh, road nt5 but it's kind of pointing at the bottom half of the shell yeah so i can okay. sort of see it there yeah so, so can, can you just um, why why do you point it there? Because most drummers will have, will have it be below the snare drum. Yeah. Do you know why? Because bottom snare mics sound crap, and I refuse to give it to people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Off, okay. <laughs> what well, it just makes just makes your snare drum sound like a crisp packet. Why do you want mm -hmm. that? You know, come on, you just got to make it sound good. So okay. Like, so it's, it's more snarey. Um, yeah. Um, so that's hence the reason for using a, a condenser mic, but the NT, NT5s and the NT55s, they really, really take the SPLs really well, the high high sound pressure levels. Um, at the minute on the hi-hats, I've got a 451B, the AKG. I, used, I sometimes use an SM7B, which is a very expensive dynamic mic. Sometimes mm -hmm. I might use a 57 if I want a bit more kind of mid little presence, but mm -hmm. at the minute, that's just a 451B. Which okay. Is, which is very brittle sounding, but perfect for hats. Uh-huh. Tom mics, I'm always switching between good old 57s. I love 57s on Toms. Mm -hmm. uh, at the minute, I've got some all dicks, D2s and D4s. Um, overheads are sure KSM32s, large diaphragm condensers, which are quite true sounding. And then on the ride, I've got an NT5 as well, road NT5. So how many mics have you got on, on the kit? So, oh, now you asked me. Yeah. But then I've got then I've got one behind me which you're not getting, and I've got a couple of room mics, and I run some figure of eights and some mid sides as well. I generally, I, for most sessions, I'll have at least fourteen mics. That's a lot. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. But then sometimes I'm adding more as well. Okay. Um, and you find the room mics really bring something to to, to the sound? Uh, unfortunately, I've got a crap sounding room. But what I what I what I can do is I've 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 treated it enough where it's dead enough, so it doesn't right. really. A lot of the sound. Um, okay. And then, and then I'll use my 57. I've got a 57 up here behind, which is capturing the kit as an overall blend. I don't use the audio of that. I use that to feed a reverb. So uh -huh. goes, oh, I see. It goes, so, so it goes pre fader. And then that then just feeds the reverb. And that way I can make the room sound like anywhere I want. Oh, okay. Reverb. Nice. Um, nice. Good then, idea. And then sometimes I'll lash up, like Nashville Sessions has been doing, like, I decided to lash up a, a, a figure of eight microphone with a cardioid, so I'm getting like mid-side recording, so I can actually give that pseudo kind of narrow. Okay, that's great. Room, so Excellent. 